Hi guys, welcome to the healthcare channel. Today's video we'll talk about can someone contact coronavirus through sexual intercourse, COVID-19 isn't an STD. But you'll catch on if you've got close physical contact with someone who has COVID-19. Luckily, there are many ways to attach with people while you're social distancing. You can get COVID-19 if you're within six feet of somebody who has it once they cough, sneeze, or exhale. And COVID-19 is additionally spread through direct contact with saliva, spit, or mucus. So intimate activities that involve being physically on the brink of someone, or coming into contact with the spit, like kissing, can easily spread COVID-19. COVID-19 can also spread through feces, poop. So it's going to be possible to urge COVID-19 from sexual activities that would expose you to fecal matter, including unprotected head on an anus, or putting a penis or sex toy in your mouth after it's been in someone's anus. Scientists have found COVID-19 in semen come, but they don't know yet if it can spread from one person to a different through semen. There's no evidence thus far that the virus is in vaginal fluids. Either way, it's always an honest idea to use barriers like condoms to assist protect you and your partner from infections which will definitely spread through sex. Some people with COVID-19 won't have symptoms, or their symptoms could also be mild. So you can't know needless to say if someone has COVID-19 supported how they appear or feel. The best thanks to preventing COVID-19 is to undertake to avoid close, physical contact, including sex, with anyone who doesn't accept you. The safest person to possess sex with is yourself, masturbation doesn't spread COVID-19 or the other infections. Just confirm to scrub your hands and sex toys with soap and water for a minimum of 20 seconds before and after. The safest sexual partners are people that already accept you. Right now, it's best to undertake to not have close contact with anybody outside your home if you'll. Staying far away from as many of us as possible will help protect you AL from COVID-19. During the COVID-19 pandemic, you continue to got to invite consent whenever you would like to possess any quite sex. Albeit you've had sex before, and albeit you're during a relationship, live together, or are married. If your partner doesn't want to possess sex for any reason, including being concerned about COVID-19, it's important to respect that. Using condoms and dental dams will help protect you and your partners from STDs. Dental dams and condoms can also help prevent the spread of COVID-19 during head by preventing contact with spit. And using condoms during vaginal and sodomy may help prevent the spread of COVID-19 through things like poop and semen, if it seems the virus are often spread that way, but scientists still don't know if it can. It's also important to scrub your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds before and after you've got sex. If you or your partner are feeling sick or think you'll have COVID-19, don't roll in the hay, kiss, or be physically on the brink of one another until you're feeling better. Call a doctor for next steps, including the way to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 in your house. You may want to totally avoid sex and other forms of close contact if you or your partner have a medical condition that increases your risk of developing serious complications from COVID-19, sort of chronic lung disease, including moderate to severe asthma, a serious heart condition, or diabetes that's not well controlled. This also includes people that are immunocompromised, like people undergoing cancer treatment or living with HIV that's not well managed with medicine. Being home all day a day with a sexual partner with extra free time might mean you're having sex more often. This will be an excellent thanks to building a reference to your partner and reduce stress and anxiety. But it's important to form sure you're still taking steps to stop STDs and unintended pregnancy, alongside COVID-19. If you can't get your regular contraception method during the COVID-19 pandemic, use a way that you simply can purchase over the counter, like condoms. Condoms will help protect you and your partner from STDs, too. You'll also buy the contraceptive, aka emergency contraception, at pharmacies, drugstores, and online without having to travel to a doctor's office or clinic. Because emergency contraception works better the earlier you're taking it after unprotected sex, it's an honest idea pip out before time and keeps its reception, so you'll take it as soon as possible if you would like it. You may even be ready to get contraception and other sexual health services at your local Planned Parenthood clinic, and a few Planned Parenthood affiliates are offering healthcare services remotely through telehealth. Call your local Planned Parenthood clinic for more information. Social distancing, which suggests staying reception the maximum amount as possible, and staying a minimum of six feet far away from people once you do leave the house, is required during this pandemic. Keeping yourself and your community healthy may mean making some changes to sex and relationships at this point, which are often frustrating or lonely. 
but it doesn't mean you can't connect with partners in other ways. There are still belongings you can do to roll in the hay and stay safe, alone or with a partner, masturbation is that the safest quite sexless, there's no risk of unintended pregnancy or STDs, and no risk of spreading COVID-19. Masturbation also can assist you relax if you're feeling anxious or stressed. Just confirm you wash your hands and sex toys with soap and water for 20 seconds before and after. If you're far away from your partner, you'll connect by doing things like making playlists of your favorite sexy songs, reading an equivalent romantic or sexy story, or writing your own, and sending letters or postcards to every other. Put on your favorite outfit, glam yourself up, and do a photo shoot. If you and your partner are consenting adults who comply with respect for each other's boundaries and privacy, you'll be sexually active with one another virtually through text, photos, or video. If you're dating, you'll continue a virtual date, watch a movie together over the video, play a computer game or virtual parlor game, video chat over coffee or a meal, or hear an album or playlist together. Self-isolation and social distancing are ways you'll help keep yourself, your partners, and your community safe during this pandemic. It is often hard but attempts to remember that it won't last forever. And therefore the more people practice social distancing now, the more lives are going to be saved and therefore the sooner everyone can revisit to normal. Monday, April 27, 2020, Health Day News, you cannot hug or greet lately without risking coronavirus infection, but new research finds that sexual activity could be safe. Researchers analyzed semen samples from 34 men in China a mean of one month after they were diagnosed with mild to moderate cases of COVID-19, the illness caused by the coronavirus. Laboratory tests didn't detect the coronavirus in any of the semen samples, and there was no evidence of the virus within the men's testes, consistent with the study published online recently within the journal Fertility and Sterility. While this small study suggests that the probabilities of sexual transmission of the coronavirus are remote, it wasn't comprehensive enough to completely rule out the likelihood, the researchers noted. The incontrovertible fact that during this small, preliminary study that it appears the virus that causes COVID-19 doesn't show up within the testes or semen might be a crucial finding, said study co-author Dr. James Hotelling, a professor of urology specializing in male fertility at the University of Utah Health. If a disease like COVID-19 was sexually transmittable, that might have major implications for disease prevention and will have serious consequences for a man's long-term reproductive health, he said during a university news release. Along with the tiny number of patients, another limitation of the study was that none of them were severely ill with COVID-19, the authors noted. It might be that a person who is critically ill with COVID-19 may need a better viral load, which could lead to a greater likelihood of infecting the semen. We just do not have the solution there to immediately, Hotelling said. But knowing that we didn't find that sort of activity among the patients during this study who were recovering from mild to moderate sorts of the disease is reassuring, he added. And despite the findings, Hotelling warned that intimate contact can still increase the danger of spreading the coronavirus through coughing, sneezing, and kissing. He also cautioned that some infected people do not have symptoms and appear healthy, but can still transmit the coronavirus to others. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recommendations on health, relationship, lifestyle and other helpful information to form life easier.